To configure a meshed AP topology, each AP must be located in a separate cluster. The AP1221, highlighted here, will be configured as the root AP. The second AP will be configured as the non-root AP. Since the mesh link has not been established, you can see that the client connected to the AP is not able to join the network on the other side. Let's configure the non-root AP. To do so, click the AP window and click the AP to configure. On the AP configuration page, select the Network tab and click the AP interface window. In addition to Ethernet 0 interface, you will find two new interfaces. Backhaul 1 is the uplink interface of the mesh or bridge link, and Connector 1 is the downlink interface of the mesh or bridge link. Click the Edit button of either of the interfaces and it will lead to the configuration page. First, enable the interface, it's down by default, and verify mesh mode is selected. Enter the SSID name. The SSID will only be used for the mesh connection and not as a service WLAN to connect clients. It is recommended to use the 5 GHz radio for the mesh link. Set the AP as non-root. Finally, set the passphrase that will be used for the security of the mesh link. Go to the AP that will be configured as the mesh root and configure the AP interface. The SSID name and passphrase must be the same as previously configured. The only difference in the configuration is the root parameter set to yes. It should take less than a minute for the AP to apply the configuration. Go to the Mesh Root AP and check that only the Backhaul 1 interface is up. Also check the speed of the link as it will indicate the connection to the non-root AP. On the non-root AP, check that both the Connector 1 and Backhaul 1 interfaces are up and the link speed is set on both interfaces. Verify the Backhaul 1 interface is connected directly to the root AP and the Connector 1 interface speed is higher than zero for each mesh network that's established. With the mesh link now established, ping the network attached to the root AP from the client connected to the non-root AP. The test should be successful.